trauma is an ideal thing to train in simulation. There's no room for mistakes. It's against the clock, and so it doesn't lend itself well to the traditional see one, do one teaching environment. If you want to perform well as a team, you have to train as a team. You wouldn't have a hockey team where the forwards just train on their own, the goalie trains on their own, and the defensemen train on their own, and then come together for the game and expect everything to work well. We put this concept together where we had everyone from all the surgical disciplines, emergency medicine, and and we took them through a wide variety of trauma-related skills so we can start to train as a team. Having a skills lab actually allows us to slow the clock and allows us to create learning opportunities without risk to patients. And it also creates a better learning opportunity as far as the pressure for the learner. The absolute real benefit of this is that textbooks, plastic models, plastic mannequins can only teach you so much. What labs like this do are they allow us to practice on real human tissue, supervised, uh, when time is not critical, that you can get some feedback and really perfect those skills so that we are not practicing necessarily on real patients when time matters. So really, uh, the simulation lab is the only way that we can really safely and effectively teach learners in trauma. It's very important that we have a, something like this that we can at least establish that if you are on our trauma team and you are looking after a traumatized patient in Halifax, that we know that you have been trained in these skills. The QE2 is a cornerstone and major player in our trauma system because we are the largest trauma center in Atlantic Canada. We are expanding our educational opportunities across the province. We are working to improve our performance and standards. So it's a very exciting time to be part of this system.